name is Shanice, and I am the owner of The Ming Bar. A lot of you guys have probably never seen my face before because I usually don't post myself. I try to keep it as clean and professional as possible. If I do post, it's usually on my story, but I do have a separate Instagram page, and I will link that below. But before we start the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to let me know what videos you guys will want to see. Um... I'm coming to you with this video to just educate, inform, and help all my beginning lash techs. I've been there before. I know the struggle. And it's quarantine. So right now is the time where you should be preparing and getting ready to get out there and perfect your craft and just do what you have to do. Because after quarantine, baby, we're going back to work. <laughs> this video is probably going to be like a survival guide. Um, I'm just going to tell you the do's and the don'ts of what you should do when you first start being a lash tech. And we're going to start off with the do's. Okay. You want to really practice your isolation. Isolation is key. Without isolation, your set is a mess. It's not going to last long. It looks crazy. So you really need to practice your isolation. It's not the same on a mannequin and a real person. But I have seen that they came out with some new mannequin heads, which I will insert a video or a picture so you can see, that looks... Or resembles a real person it gives you that real feel I just ordered one and I can't wait for it to get here um, if you can get that you would perfect your isolation so much quicker and so much better because it's giving you that realistic feel the mannequin head that we usually do use to teach um, like you're getting a feel of it but you ain't really getting a feel of it if you know what I mean so if you just invest a little bit and get that um, new mannequin head, I think it'll help so much better. And talking about investing, you need a light. Like, you need a ring light. A ring light is so necessary because those little hairs are so small, you barely could see that. Well, I, I barely could see it. But when I get a light, it's like a whole different world. Like, I can see everything. So invest in a light. You don't have to go crazy and get the Glamour light. I think that one goes for like $300. You can go on Amazon. I will link one below and get a $100 ring light. And you'll be perfectly fine because trust me, they all do the exact same thing. Okay? So invest in yourself. Get yourself a light. The next essential thing to starting your business is getting a professional booking website you can use acuity or something really simple like godaddy they're very different but very alike so they both are in the form of a website and an app so you can create it on the website like using a laptop or a desktop but then you can have it on your phone as an app so it's easy for you to access if you're not near a laptop or a desktop <laughs> acuity is going to be strictly scheduling um is going to be very easy for people to book. They can make deposits on there. They can also keep up with their appointments. And they can also pay in full on there if that's something you would rather. GoDaddy is a full-on website host. So this is where you're going to go to create a website, whether you just want it for appointments or you're going to be providing products or other services like trainings and stuff like that. I use both. So at first I used GoDaddy because I wanted a website because I was selling products. Well, I am selling products. But then I transitioned back to Acuity because people wanted a simpler way to book. So I do recommend Acuity. It's very cheap um, monthly and it's very easy. You can still design it. It's not like a crazy creative thing, but it's very simple. It looks good and it's very easy for people to book. So I do recommend that. And then we're going to talk about customer service and Instagram. So let's do customer service first. Customer service is what's going to make or break your business. So let's say you do great work, but you have terrible customer service. You're very rude. You're not easy to approach. Like your energy is kind of like on the rougher side. Nobody's going to want to come to you because no matter how good your work is, if I do not feel comfortable with you for the two hours that I'm getting a service done, I'm not coming back. Why should I be uneasy when I'm spending my money with you? You know what I mean? So you want to treat people how you would want to be treated when you are going to an appointment or getting a service done. You want to be nice. You want to be able um, to write people back all the time. No, you're not going to be able to write them back 
quick but write them back because sometimes um I do tend to not write people back and it's not like I'm trying to come off rude I get distracted or I might be doing something else you know so if you can you should be trying to write people back as much as you can whether it's email text messages calling them back DMing them back you want to be nice and you want to be approachable customer service plays a very big role and it does a lot like, a lot of people think, oh, well, my work is great, so people are going to come to me regardless. And that's really not it. Um, and I hear that a lot when I have clients, because usually my conversations with my clients start off as a complaint from, like, them having a complaint about somebody else. And it gets a little bit excessive, but it's great to know what they're going through so I can avoid certain situations. So customer service plays a really big part. So Instagram, I would assume is everyone's platform to showcase or show off their business. You want to make sure it looks as chic, as professional, as clean as possible. Um, image matters. Like, I don't want to go to your page and you have a thousand colors unless that is your theme. Like, if your theme is rainbow, then I get it. But if your page is all over the place, it's a turn off. Everybody clicks what is appealing to the eye. So your page should be appealing to the eye. You should have um, a color scheme. Your logo should match your color scheme of your Instagram. That way, it's so pretty. I just want to scroll through it. I just want to like everything. Like, ooh, girl. You're in tune with your Instagram, okay? And the last thing that we're going to be talking about is all the don'ts that come with being a lash tech. And my number one don't is don't get into being a lash tech if you're going to be doing it just for the money. Like, obviously, money is a very big factor because we all do what we do because of the type of money that we are going to receive in the end. But... If you don't have a passion for it, if this is not something you know you're going to grow to love and it's going to be strictly for the money, don't do it. Don't do it. You're not going to get far if you're doing it for the money or you just simply don't love what you do. It shows in your work. And we're dealing with people's eyes, okay? So don't come to fuck around. <laughs> Sorry to curse, but don't come to play. Like, these are people's eyes, and if you're not going to take precaution and do what you have to do as a lash tech, don't do it. Because if you don't love what you do, you're not going to do what you have to do. Loving what you do is a very big factor, especially with lashes. Um, because if you don't want love what you do, as I said before, you're not going to take precaution. You're not going to educate yourself. And that's the number one thing you have to do. Even after taking a class with someone, you have to educate yourself on sterilization, and stuff like that and talking about sterilization don't not sterilize don't not make sure your tools are clean we're dealing with someone's eyes people's eyes and you don't want to mess that up like eyesight is a very important thing so make sure you are sterilizing your tools like educate yourself on that don't be that lash tech that is known for not being clean wash your hands and I like to make it known that I'm going to wash my hands or at least come back and you know like when I say make it known I mean like when they come in I'm like oh, I'm gonna just go wash my hands and my tweezers and come right back or if I have already done that like if I leave them in the room and I walk out when I come back my hands are still a little bit drenched with water and I'm wiping it with a paper towel that's indicating that I washed my hands before I walked into this room just taking those steps will make people feel a lot better wear a face mask this coronavirus should not be the reason why you think you should wear a face mask this is something you should have always done no one wants no one wants you breathing on their forehead and no one wants to smell your breath and also the fumes from the glue is very strong so you should be wearing a mask that should be something you should be doing already um also spraying your um tools with alcohol even though you have already washed them taking that extra step and another thing is that you don't want to be hard on yourself you don't want to compare your work to other people um, it really doesn't make sense to be hard on yourself because everyone starts somewhere and you cannot compare yourself to someone who's been doing lashes for years. Like, 
there's no reason to compare yourself to someone who's been doing lashes for four years versus you who might be months in or a year in it takes time and they probably it took a lot for them to get where they're at and it's gonna take a lot for you to get where you're going so just be patient um, believe in yourself have hope and just work towards what you want your work to look like practice makes perfect so practice as much as you can as much as you want to don't feel like there's a timestamp on how fast you should be evolving in your work there's no timestamp work at your own pace everyone learns at a different pace and there's no race and there's no rush every business is different and every business owner is different so take your time believe in yourself all right guys so that wraps up our video for today please like comment and subscribe and comment down below what videos you guys would like to see bear with me this is my first video and i'll see you next time